just walking along and just seeing what there is and browsing the aisles. That for me is my supermarket. My name's Pippa LaBelle, I'm the chef and owner of Restaurant Versa on the Isle of Man and I'm going to show you how I forage my ingredients for the restaurants. I moved to the Isle of Man just a couple of years ago. I actually came to open a different restaurant and just completely fell in love with the place and the foraging opportunities and just decided, okay, my plans for the future, I'm just going to do them now. It's the perfect opportunity and I did. The Isle of Man is perfect for foragers. It's literally a forager's heaven. Ah, oh, amazing. So I found some um, ground elder. So it's also called goutweed. And this is like a really herbaceous kind of parsley flavor. Uh, it's a nuisance for gardeners though. It's like really invasive and intrusive. The gardeners always try to get rid of it. Um, I'll use this in the restaurant in many ways. It'll make a really nice oil for fish. Um, it, I'm gonna dry a load of this out and then just use it for seasoning stuff. As the tide goes out, uh, different seaweeds become available. This is called gutweed. It's really like slimy. Um, it looks kind of unappealing and unappetizing, but actually, once this is washed a few times and then dehydrated, it goes such a bright, beautiful green. It doesn't taste like seaweed, it tastes like the sea. I will never leave the Isle of Man. It's a UNESCO biosphere. Everything just grows in abundance. It's just so biodiverse. It's just insane. This is just like a sea of wood sorrel. The whole, literally this whole forest floor is covered in, in wood sorrel. But this is just so sharp and it just packs such such a strong flavour just in such a small bite. It's very, very useful for the kitchen and Versa. So in regards to opening Versa, I just wanted to start something that was solely about the ingredients nature has to offer. I'm not going to use ingredients from here, there and everywhere. If it's not available, it's not available. So this is some local calig, which is pollock in Manx. And to be honest, there's not much cooking gone into it just because the fish is that fresh and that's what we do. Not much cooking, just make art on the plate. The weekly changing menu just goes hand in hand into creating an exciting thing for me and the staff, which can then be passed on to customers to get them excited about the idea. So just to round off the tasty menu this evening, we've got some meadow sweet cookies um, and then we have some forage black currants on top, uh, just with a little bit of local cream. I think it's really important to show people what nature has to offer and what it is about, so that then they respect it and they want to look after it. I'm a big fighter for making each day enjoyable and making our jobs enjoyable and actually enjoying being a chef again. So I really, really think that in the restaurant trade, sustainability should, should be at the heart of everything we do now because fundamentally, the one thing to me that everybody has in common is that everybody has to eat and it's something we can all share.